Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another recipe. Today I'm showing you guys how to make this homemade chicken and rice soup. This soup is super flavorful and it's very easy to make. This recipe can be made on a stove top or crock pot. Before we begin, please take a moment to like this video if you enjoy and let's jump right into it. All right, here's a quick glance of all the ingredients. I'm using carrots, celery, onions, the rice, of course, thyme, dill, fresh parsley, minced garlic, chicken bouillon, salt and pepper, complete seasoning, better than bouillon base, as well as the chicken breast. You can use chicken thighs as well. Let's get started. I'm going to start by slicing the chicken breast right in the middle, then we are going to season. Before seasoning, I am going to drizzle some olive oil. Just rub that in just like so. Now it's time to season the chicken. We're going to lightly season the chicken. We're using one and a half tablespoon of complete seasoning. You're going to lightly season your chicken on both sides. Paprika can be added, but not necessary. To a medium high heat skillet, I am going to drizzle two to three tablespoons of olive oil. When that is nice and hot, I am going to place the chicken breast right in there. Once the chicken is nice and golden brown, I am going to flip it on the other side. Now you are not cooking the chicken, you just want a nice golden brown color on both sides. Now I'm going to remove the chicken, set it aside. Now this is how the chicken looks. Once done, to the sim skillet, I am going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Then I am going to add my minced garlic. Cook the garlic until fragrance. Next, I am going to be adding the veggies. I'm adding the carrot, the onion, as well as the celery. Now I'm going to cook those until they're nice and soft, which usually take about five minutes. It depends on how thick your veggies are, by the way. Now I am going to add one tablespoon of better than bouillon base and give that a nice stir. Now I'm going to add the thyme. Also, I'm going to be adding the parsley as well as the dill. I'm adding them now because I want to release the flavor of the herbs. So I am going to fry them. The aroma is going to be so amazing in your kitchen with all these herbs just frying and releasing the flavor, okay? So now I am going to pour in six and a half cups of chicken broth in there. Now I am going to add the chicken because I told you guys they wasn't fully cooked. 
I just wanted some color. So I'm going to place that in there. And also we're going to season the broth. Yes, it's going to be super flavorful. I know. I'm going to add some chicken bouillon as well as one bay leaf. Ugh, it's going to be so good. And also I'm going to add some salt and pepper. We're going to cover this, you guys. Cover it for about 20 minutes. Allow the chicken to be nice and tender so you can be able to shred it. Twenty minutes later, this is how we're looking. Looking good, looking good, okay. We're going to remove the chicken, place it in a plate, and then we are going to shred the chicken. You can either shred this by hand or you can use two forks like I'm doing or you can dice them with a knife. It's up to you, okay? Now that we're done shredding the chicken, we're going to pour it back in the pot yes 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 just like so right after we are going to add our rice now this is the thing with the rice for me i feel like i added too much rice because the rice soaked up all of the juice so i added half 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 a cup of rice um i would suggest you use one third cup of rice because I added a little bit too much although I enjoy the rice but it was a little too much I like lots of broth in my chicken soup so yes we're going to add some more parsley cover it for another 20 minutes allow the chicken uh, to cook in as well as the rice and of course the veggies to be nice and tender and this is what you have in about 15 to 20 minutes later. Smelling so, so, so good. Perfect for this weather, for this season. Or if you're feeling sick, you just want something to warm you up, this is the dish for you. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe. If you did, please don't forget to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button so you can be part of this family. I upload amazing recipes here at least three times a week. You don't want to miss. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.